Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Homeworld 2. It is time. We played Deserts of Karak. We played Homeworld 1. We even played what was formerly known as Homeworld Cataclysm. But for a long time, I've neglected playing the... the well, not the final game, because other game, another game came out afterwards, but the, the final game in the timeline, Homeworld 2. Um, there are two reasons for that, and then, well, they're tied together, so I guess it's one reason. Really, what it comes down to is I have never beaten Homeworld 2. Um, it's partially because it is the hardest of all the Homeworld games. It's also because twice I've tried to beat it and the game has bugged out late, late into the campaign. I got fed up and did not go back and finish. So, this will be an adventure for one and all. I am going to be rusty. I have not... I played the tutorial missions again just to get the controls, but it has been a few years since I've touched this. Alright, enough introduction. Let us begin with mission number one. returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a vaguer warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sedrukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Higara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. The 
Mothership recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet Command, online. Mothership status report. Engineering, online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Main engines, online. Engine test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Resetting navigation. And we are in. Let's immediately get you harvesting. This is fleet intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Uh, it's already in progress, friend. Meanwhile, do we have anything available we can build? Systems fully operational. No, we don't. Okay. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Alright, yes, so the plan for this Let's Play is we are going to be releasing one episode a week for, well, as many episodes as it takes to beat the, the campaign, but we will be doing an entire episode, an entire level per episode, no lim time limits or anything like that. He said before finding out that some level is like four hours long. Uh, you know, if things get that extreme, we'll break things up. But for right now, the plan is to do longer episodes for this series, but only do one a week. But that way, the levels themselves don't get broken up at all. Which I think is a good way to approach it. Because right now, between the co-op Total War, this series, and everything we're doing for Angela's channel, we just need a little bit more time, room to breathe. Complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. We shall in just a moment. One of the things that I very much enjoyed about this game is obviously it's the same mothership as we had back in, in Homeworld 1, correct? Well, one of the things I very much enjoy about it is they went further with these subsystems. You can actually target them, they get built on the exterior of the systems, and when it comes to things like your carriers, you actually have a limited number of places that you can build them and so you have to sort of specialize your carriers we'll get to that a little later Production underway. we're actually gonna build two squads of interceptors because let's face it you never have enough interceptors in homeworld games so we're just gonna get a little ahead of the curve on that because another thing that they changed in this compared to the old homeworld games is you're no longer building um ships well you don't build um, particularly fighters one at a time anymore instead you build them in squadrons um, basically they, they move together as one unit, so it's just almost an aesthetic difference. But, the thing to keep in mind is, is that if we lose one ship, we can get that repaired by docking back with the mothership much cheaper than rebuilding. Perimeter Station Chimera will assist by providing Thank you. drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. I would love to. So yeah, we can sort of see these are our new interceptors. Aren't they fancy looking? Um, but yes, so you lose one, that's fine. The squad can repair itself. And so if we can start with enough fighters out on the board already that we never lose a full unit, 
we end up making um we end up making we don't make we save money in the long run all right we are going to go claw formation we okay i am going to have one problem with these guys Okay, so I have the problem of I keep wanting to use WASDA to move the camera around, and it, that doesn't work that way. I have to use uh, the arrow keys, because what ends up happening is I end up hitting D, which sends them into dock mode. Alright, so let's grab them, put them into group 1, go ahead and get them onto attack. Let's go ahead and get two squads of interceptors out. Uh, resource units, that is something we can afford right now. That's fine. I want to get two groups out for, you know, just, just in case I need them. Uh, once again, have not played this mission, but I have played enough homeworld games to know that the first level always goes very well. Ugh. Okay, so two units there and there claw formations should work well for interceptors if my memory and knowledge of home world one proves complete. not completely lost Confirmed. so that will be group, group two, two. grab you aggressive yeah, 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 yeah. also they have gotten rid of fuel but they had already done that if i recall in the remaster of the first game group one reports victory. good What's going on now? Attention, Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. <gasps> we have multiple unidentified units detected. Oh my so god, who would have seen this coming? They sound like tyrannic raiders. Same chatter. Alright, there's a good chunk of them. Let's get all units. Oh, they're going to need more than that. Very well, Blue Leader. Give me command. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. This is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vega bombers. Standing by. Group two, Alright, group two has been reinforced and designated. Get yourselves out there. Alright, meanwhile, do we have any research available? No, let's go ahead and get in there. Alright, Vega bomber wings are going down very quickly. Kill them all. As soon as this group goes down, we will dock for repairs. We've probably taken a couple of hits. Five units of interceptors will do us fine. Docking underway. Chimera Station is offline. All right, we got more guys coming in. The Baker have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. All right, now, while that is a problem. Emergency launch underway. The mothership is a tank. She can take a few fighters. Roger that, Tannis. Pulling away. Primary couplings released. Bombs are coming in. All right, blue squadrons have deployed. They are going down. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. All right, I'll advise all crew members to not stand by the windows. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact: two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. Like how rude they are about that. Like, you have to do this. There is no other choice. Get on there, boys. Strike group attack order 
Alright, so... Let's go ahead and grab everyone. Get on that assault boat, please. Yeah, so if we can actually focus on this. Now, this is a frigate. So, theoretically, there is a way on the larger capital ships to target their subsystems. Frigates might be too small. Might be, uh, like, destroyer scale or larger. Let's also make sure that the Pride Gara gets into aggressive neutral. No, 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 no. Damage up, speed down, defensive, please. Dock. Dock. Yep, so we're just going to send a couple groups into dock. Everyone dock with the mothership. We will worry about Tannis Station, or whatever they called it, later. We now have access to scouts. We don't care. We will probably never build them. Unless the mission recalls for it or something like that. Plenty of time before the reinforcements arrive. Second bomber squadron is ready. I don't think we need a third one. I'm going to hold off for right now. Also, keep your hands off of Wazda. Go here. Here. You guys, four, go. If they are not destroyed, the enemy will deploy reinforcements through them. These gates must be destroyed. Strike group, prepare for assault. All right, bombers are on their way. Go, 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 go. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. All right, Strike Group 1 will take on the fighters. We will leave the Bomber Squadron. Yeah, they freaking hits, but that's okay. Boom. Get that second wave. Group 1 of Interceptors are dealing with these fighter waves. They'll be able to deal with that. Meanwhile, the Bombers will take two waves to take down the gates. We can handle that. The mothership, as you can see, she's taken light damage, but light is the opportune word. Do we have... Do we lose our resourcer? Mothership. I think we might have lost our resourcer. Very good, and that one is done. Okay, so I believe that our harvester was lost. Alright. We'll go ahead and start building two of those. If we even have him, we need three. And if not, two is better than zero. Okay. Group two is still docking. Yeah, we have definitely, definitely taken out that attack wave. Do they have a carrier? Long range sensors have detected yep, that's the carrier. Converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. All right, come in for dock. I just saw a resource or dock. I don't know if that's the one we originally built, or if. Hello, Vega. I mean, okay, we probably couldn't have beaten that. Everyone, get 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 inside. I see you exploding. No, 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 no! Don't emergency until everyone's on board. Everyone, get on board. Get all those little blue little blue boys in. Last fighter, dive. I think everyone got on board. The mission was successful, but at what cost? 